Welcome to Sahara, the bridal decor with Tora. The show is directed by Farah Nas and it is produced by Ketan Sheikh and sponsored by Goldfinch Business Solutions, LLC. And I am your host, Tora, and I am extremely upset and dejected, though I am smiling. You know, I'll tell you why. You're my viewers and I can share such things with you. Throughout the week, the entire week, I have been practicing a song. I wanted to start the show in a little different way, you know, and the song matched the theme that I'm going to introduce. But right before the function was supposed to start, somebody came, somebody that somebody is my husband, Amit, whom you met in episode four. He just comes and tells me, don't sing. I mean, he even said that uh, last episode he took all the limelight and this time I'll goof up if I sing my song. I, I felt like somebody crushed my talent and threw it in the bin. I was, I'm extremely dejected. I wanted to share this with you because I want justice and I will sing in this episode. I have really worked hard. I have rehearsed well. I might not be the best singer, but I can sing. I will sing somewhere in the middle of the episode or at the end, but I will sing and I want your support fully. I want you to comment and let me know. Now, let me go back to the episode. Otherwise, my director will throw me out of the show. So the episode, we have reached episode five. And this episode five is about a different concept, completely different from Rajasthani theme that you had seen before. The concept is club theme. You can see my costume, you know, all blingy and all. Club theme. It's something not unknown to people. Um, we all go to clubs. We love music. We love the DJ. We love to dance. There, there's nothing that I would uh, like to add um, or explain you differently, but I want to share something. You know, um, if I ask you the original concept of club, I'll, I'll share the concept with you. The um, clubs originally used to mean bars that came with live band, where people used to gather, socialize over drinks and food. If you remember those 70s movies where, you know, people used to sit around the round table and there used to be a live band and a beautiful singer singing like, Rat Baki, Baat Baki. I think my husband was right. I took a very wrong call on singing this song. No, this is actually the dejection that uh, I have got. Uh, because he came and told me not to sing. It is a complete mess. I cannot, I have to gather myself and proceed with the episode. Now coming to the club theme. With time, it has evolved. Just like, you know, I have, I have to evolve with time with my singing. Bars are no more that simple. Okay, it has evolved with time in terms, you know, it's much more lavish. And um, you get DJs. There are themes that are kept in bar, you know, in the clubs, like Bollywood theme, trans theme, etc. You will see more engagement of people. The bars are much more elaborate. You have professional, efficient bartenders, you know, like uh, uh, serving you or catering to your needs. So this is the present scenario of a bar. But be previously, it was quite simple. Now, um, bar is a generic, I mean, the club theme is a generic term. Now, if I have to uh, make each party look different from the other, and you have the theme club theme, you need to set looks to the party. Otherwise, all the parties will look, uh, you know, same. So uh, this time, we will talk about the different looks of club theme. But I would like to ask and want your input also. Uh, can you, uh, you know, like a little bit brainstorm and come up with uh, some ideas um, or, you know, the think of parties that can complement well with the club theme? So let's do one thing. I'll start a countdown. Okay. I'll count till 10. Till then, you can comment and tell me um, which party would go well with the club theme. Okay. So the countdown starts now. Okay. One, 
two. Let's make it like this. You know, I used to do in school. Tick, tick, three. Tick, tick, four. Tick, tick, five. Tick, tick, six. If you don't say, then I have to reveal my concept. Tick, 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 uh, seven. Tick, tick, eight. Tick, tick, nine. And tick, tick, ten. There's no response from you all. Okay, fine, no problem. I have some of the themes in mind that go well with the party. You know, this club theme look. One is the bachelor's party and another is the hen party. Bachelor's, this episode is about, we'll talk about bachelor's party. Okay, I have got a comment from Iftikar Rahman. Okay, it says bachelor's party. Correct, I was just coming to that. So bachelor's party or the hen's party. And Tarannum Rashid also said, says kitty party. Oh, that's a great idea. I mean, yes, club team also goes well with, with kitty party. That's an amazing idea. Okay. Now, this episode, we will talk about bachelor's night and we will also speak about hen party. Bachelor's night um, and hen party, they are actually celebrated with your close friends uh, to celebrate your new beginning with your life partner. And uh, you celebrate it very um, differently with a lot of fun. You have DJ. We'll talk about all that. But for that, we have a very, very special couple with us today in the episode. And uh, we'll have some fun chat with them. They're extremely adorable. I have been stalking them for last two days because I wanted to know a lot about them. And they are extremely adorable, cute, um, energetic. They are so positive. So we will start with a small intro video for them and then we will get to get them into in the studio. So let's have the video and uh, meet them. <laughs> invite them to the studio. Let's welcome Tehseen and Fahmina in the studio. Hi. 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 How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, great. Uh, let me tell you, viewers, they are actually connecting to us all the way from Virginia. And it's, I think it's uh, 9.30 in the morning. Yep, they yeah. got up early morning putting makeup. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. And how did you like the intro video? It was so cute. I, really <laughs> love it. I can't believe you guys have those pictures. Yeah, I found out all the pictures. How do you like it? I like the video, Tessie. Loved it. Loved it. I'm going to keep that for myself. Oh, how cute. Thank you so much. Now, um, you know, uh, we will proceed with the theme of this episode. But before that, we would be, you know, even me and the viewers would like to know you as a couple. I mean, how you all met, that little love story, cute love story, because I find you both so adorable. I, you are 
too amazing. You know, you are one of those coolest uh, couples that I have uh, seen or met till date. Oh, thank you so much. That means a lot to us. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you. <laughs> I'm going to let her do all the talking. And I'm just going to sit you over here. <laughs> yeah. I'm the arm candy. I want you also to talk. Yeah. You have to participate. should see some yeah. of her TikToks, right? Okay. Anyways, doesn't matter. Uh, Fambina, you, you can start. Oh, um, well, I came to Virginia for a vacation and um, I actually was um, going to meet another boy. So oh. that's why I came here. But um, then um, he was a no call, no show. So okay. I felt very heartbroken and I was like, you know, I was with cousins and friends and they were like, you know what, don't be heartbroken. Just get on Minder. And I'm like, OK, all right, let's. Let's try that. So I, when I opened up the app, his profile actually was the very first profile that okay. I came across and I swiped right and it was an immediate match. So he already liked my profile. Okay. So um, it was a definite match. And then um, we didn't really do much when I, while I was on vacation. So after I went back to Chicago, because I was living in Chicago at that time for, you know, I've, I've lived there for 27 years. And um, so I was like, you know, that cute boy never said hello. You know, so I was like, <laughs> you know what? I was playing hard to get. And then I was like, you know, I, I really should just message him and just see if he's still interested. Mm -hmm. So I messaged him hello. And within like a jiffy, like very fast, it was like, hello. You know, he was like, like actually waiting for a hello from your side. I think so. Yeah, he, he was. He's a, he's a very shy person to begin with. So he lets me uh, do all the, you know, crazy things but he like sits back and he watches me so, so he's I, like i'm just here for the ride <laughs> oh it's so cute but anyways you both i mean gel so well okay you may proceed with the story then so then um i was like how are you and he's like oh and then all of a sudden he's like oh why are you like you know so many hundred miles away and i was like what do you mean <laughs> and he's like well, it says uh, it's showing your location in Chicago and I'm in Virginia and I have my parameters set just for Virginia. And mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? Look at the audacity of this boy. Mm -hmm. Like telling me like you're not in my criteria, right? <laughs> so I was like, oh, you don't have to talk to me if I'm not, if I don't fit into your so-called right criteria. So he's like, no, sometimes, you know, you have to think out of the box and just, you know, go with the flow. And I'm like, uh-huh. I dug out <laughs> myself out of the hole that I created. <laughs> but, yeah, after that, we um, we texted for about two weeks. And then we finally were like, you know, let's let's call each other. Let's get familiar with the voice, with the texts. So we, when, when we were actually going to talk, he said, and he has a boy from a previous marriage and I was divorced. Mm -hmm. So um, he was like, you know, my son said, don't get catfished. Oh. So you need to make sure that you come in front of the camera so that I can see your face. And I was oh. like, what? Okay, whatever. So I had a really long day at work and I came home and I put so much oil in my hair. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know, you know, like one of those days you just, you just kind of like, just don't care how you look. You just exactly. want to like, yeah, yeah. so much oil. And then I put on my apron and I was cooking shrimp curry. I remember that I was cooking shrimp curry and in the middle of that, he called me and he's like, Hey, I'm going to my mom's for dinner. When I come back to my house, um, I'm going to video call you. And I was like, you couldn't find a better day. Like, what in the world? Because I just wasn't looking pretty at all. Like, zero makeup. No shower. <laughs> so, you know, after you get married, you, you get to see the real person, right? Real, correct. Absolutely. Yeah. The real person. Right. Mm. But he coughed me Absolutely. off guard. And I was like, okay, fine. You know, if this boy likes me as 
this the way you are looking that time it's set like absolutely me. yeah so he's definitely going to like me with my tam jam on right so i was like okay fine i was like you know rest is up to god let's just do this video call so when he video called me i was like uh, because he looked cute and i was like oh he's so cute and i look <laughs> like this but yeah it worked out and then we ended up talking for 8 hours and um until 4:30 in the morning and we talked. the reason we had to stop is because i had work the yeah, next morning yeah he had work the next like in like 3 hours and he's like you know if i don't get like at least couple hours of sleep i'm going to be sleeping at my desk so let me just you know get off and then the next day we talked for like, i think 5 and a half hours or 6 hours something like that so we had a long distance relationship for a very very long time which is very painful and you know so um yeah that's that's how we met and we started talking I mean that's amazing that's a very amazing story and I want to ask you you know what clicked because it is quite obvious from you know when I see you both individually it's very obvious the qualities you possess and that is the that is the reason you both clicked so well but what is the reason or how do you uh, get that uh, chemistry that energy you know between both of you you know what is that uh, reason what's the reason for that spark I think it's music music just music definitely, definitely uh music one of one of the main reasons one right? of the main reasons yeah, uh, because love he's music he's a singer and i am a very passionate listener <laughs> which by the way great job with the song yeah you did a good job oh don't tell me i messed <laughs> yeah. up you have no idea with your husband, husband. huh we did have a talk with your husband you sing so well He is the person who told me right. Actually, it is because he told asked me not to sing before the function. You know, he just morally. How I got so dejected throughout the week. I was singing, 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 and suddenly he tells me, "Don't sing. You'll have a power cut." Seriously, ah. and I think something just now happened. My light went off. Your light went off. I saw. I saw that. Yes, and I started singing in the darkness. <laughs> But so thing, when, uh, we yeah. throw parties all the time in our house and we have a lot of friends who are musicians and everything else so we have some karaoke but also live music so anytime you come to our place you're singing with us sure sure and yes i would love to i would love yes. to and person you are also a very good singer i found out and uh, famina is a great dancer i know it oh, thank she's you. also an amazing singer Yeah, that I didn't know. Oh but... no, I used to sing when I was very little. Okay. Okay. Anymore. Now coming back to the, you know, theme of the episode. If you mm-hmm. have, uh, you know, like uh, you must be knowing the theme of the episode is club theme bachelor and mm-hmm. hence party. So, you know, how I would like to know how you both have celebrated these parties, you know, individually. Famina, you your hen party and uh, Tessin How did you celebrate your bachelor's party? What different things you have done? Your bachelor's party? <laughs> no. <laughs> This one is not a clubber. So his okay. bachelor party is all about like with a guitar. He's like tung 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 with jamming friends, away. jamming away with That's what's a perfect club friends and you know there's like you know chai and tea coffee going on in the background and you know samosas and all that and that's his bachelor party really? my bachelor party yeah is completely me. different from his bachelor party okay so, so what my do you bachelor do party is more like let's go to the club let's have some drinks let's dance let's you know let's put on like the sparkliest dress you can find in your closet and high heels and let's dance until your heels break ah uh, perfect actually that is the reason you both click so well one is little bit quiet and you are for me now is little you know like very energetic you know going ah all the time so that is the reason it clicks so well and it is just in the screen on the screen we just compile the pictures but when i was actually going through the pictures Very interestingly, I was I was talking you both. I said right. So when I saw Tehsin's profile, it was so normal. And suddenly I shift to Kamina's <laughs> profile. It's like all colors here, color there, all over the profile. It's so colorful and 
lovely. And I think from your profile, I got all the pictures. I've stolen all the pictures, not got. I've yes, stolen he's all not. The he's not he will, will, yeah, he, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. But <laughs> he is more of like sports, cricket and soccer and, you know, uh, hockey and all that. Like you'll see all of the posts for sports and, um, you know, uh, women's rights and, you know, all of that. And uh, all about the memes. Yeah, and, and he's all about the memes. They never stop, Dora. They never stop. <laughs> like, my phone will go off. Seriously, my phone will go off. And I, I will be, like, either cooking or, like, you know, I'm with a client or I'm in a meeting or something. And my phone will go off, like, ding, 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 ding. And it's him constantly sending me memes. And I'm like, oh, you don't want to look at the memes anymore i'm like i don't like memes anymore because of him <laughs> so what we also do is we uh, share tiktok ideas with with each other so we'll find oh. something that we like like hey let's do this do you all plan it like do you all plan it and then do it or it's just random no we will see something that we we like and then we'll like talk about it for like a good hot two minutes and then we're like okay let's go let's do the take so yeah. that's how it usually happens. We don't really rehearse in days or, you know, nothing like that. We, yeah, it's we do very, it very natural, constantly. you know. Uh, it's just so natural and so funny. Uh, Thank I you. tell you what is my favorite. But before that, you know, such kind of parties, like whether bachelor's party, a hen party, or, you know, any club theme party is just incomplete without DJ. Because DJ is one oh, person yes. who sets the mood or the ambience of the entire party you know party and sets the mood of the people we have a small video on it we'll show the video and we'll come back and talk to okay. you all okay I hope you love the video. That was, hi. Do you like the video of Amina and Tessie? Yes, it was nice. Yeah. And you uh, you actually got a clip of us in there. Yes, of course. And I was, I was wearing this yours. heavy sari that day. But that's the charm. Let me, I'll come to that. I'll come to that. I was just, you know, talking to the viewers that, you know, when you choose your DJ, the, you know, main qualities that you see or you should choose your DJ on the basis of a DJ must be professional, no doubt, but uh, he should have good sense of music, attentiveness. I mean, he should have, uh, you know, like observation quality, you know, to watch his crowd and uh, communicate with the crowd. Um, so all these qualities are very important while you choose a DJ. So how do you choose your DJ when you organize a party? Like, is it like someone you know, or you got, uh, you know, you got to know from somebody, this DJ is good, or you have your own criteria that my DJ should play this kind of uh, music, or, you know, this is the way he should communicate with my people or my guests. How do you choose your DJ? I think it's a mix of both. Um, I actually, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to know some of the celebrity DJs of Bollywood and I'm actually, um, into all of that. So mm -hmm. I kind of contact them if I need anything, but also the party theme is very important. I think you have to cater to your guests, right? Yes. So whatever your guests are going to, um, like, enjoy, not all the time that, you know, you need to break a heel. 
you, there could be yeah. a DJ, which can be catered to, like earlier, somebody said kitty party. You know, it, it can be catered to a kitty party okay. where it's not like, you know, all the time. All the but, time, yeah. Yeah, okay. but it also caters to like, you know, that that audience and mm -hmm. it could be mellower. It could be, you know, upbeat. Like some, uh, like some wedding parties, they uh, they want a little bit lighter music, some mm -hmm. soothing romantic music. So mm -hmm. DJ should exactly understand the temperament of the people. That, right. that is the you know good sense of music. Like suddenly, if somebody is asked, even Dhinchike Dhinchike, somebody he should understand if this crowd is fond of Bollywood music or they are fond of trance. And True. if you just make yeah, so that is the difference, very small difference, but this is what a DJ does. He actually picks up that uh, you know, um uh, temperament of the people and then he plays his music very quick, time mm -hmm. management. Uh, you know that room control is very important for a DJ. Yes, isn't very. It? The DJ is basically the heart of the party, right? Because if the, the DJ, party. if the DJ is not good, if he or she sucks, your party is gonna. Party is gone. Yeah, now, party is gone. One thing I would say is, you definitely want, as the host, you want to make sure that you have a great understanding with the DJ. You want to talk to the DJ, give them a set list Perfect. that you want them to play, so yeah. they get an idea of what kind of music to play what kind of music you're expe uh, uh, expecting from it mm -hmm. and then what we sometimes would do it with ask the friends like hey what songs would you like and then we'll push that into the dj and then you know at clubs and everything else you can always put in a request hey play yeah. this song and I DJ, thought, I just, yeah yeah yes. continue you want to make sure that the dj has a full set of list of not just hindi songs but also if it's a Bengali party, for example, Bengali songs and, and English songs as well, because there's mm. a lot of folks that love the 70s and the 80s. And the moment those songs come in, you know the music, right? And you know yes. the steps. You, you just go right in. You both yes. are like such amazing dancers. I've seen in the clip. Pamina, you were concerned about your sari. And that is the magic, you know, like, I, you know, you are so graceful. I mean, I love your that step. You went like this <laughs> and that. Those moves, you both of them were killing it. I was just looking at the video. I am not actually trying to be over, you know, sugar coated or over sweet. I actually love you. Aww, thank so you. Yeah, I'm going through the videos again and again. And, you know, I guessed that F uh, Fahmina would be exactly this way and Tahseen would be a little quieter version, you know, uh, between the two. But you both, my husband is exactly, I joke with him. And he's a calmer version. I am that violent person always you know, dancing. You didn't want to be like that. Bouncer in the club in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> and I go Very round cool. and round. I don't know how much time we have. So let me share an example of how she is. So we yeah. were at this club in Chicago. And uh, we're dancing and having fun and everything else. And then all of a sudden, this guy that was walking past just shoved her a little bit, right? And she's dancing and she stops. No, he actually bumped me. But, like, yeah. bumped me, uh, so know? he was a tall guy, right? She stops. She looks at him and like, what? And the guy's like, I'm sorry. It's like, all right. Like, because you know he what? spilled my drink. And yeah, he's like, you know what? I'll, I'll take your apology if you can follow the steps that I do. And then right in that dance floor, she starts doing some Bharat Right? <laughs> you want to show some of that? <laughs> So uh, and the guy was actually was pretty good. He was he, was he started, started popping, following me like so she was in, you know? <laughs> the head bob and everything. And I'm like, oh wow, hey, because he spilled my drink. I was like, you know, I'll only forget. He was like, I'm I'm so sorry. Let me buy you another one. I'm like, no, if you want to, if you want my to me to forgive you, then you do what I do. And then in the middle of the dance floor, we started doing, and then other people were looking at us like, what is going what on is going here? On? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I just missed a comment by Iftika Rahman. He's our regular viewer. Can I get the comment back, please? I just missed the comment. Okay. I got the comment. So this party is best with a very good DJ. If you have hired a DJ, see if they can bring a large screen to play videos during the party. So what do you have to say about this? Yes, comment? that is very like, important. Do you like to yes. reply? Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Because people like to see what's going on with the song, right? Like, yeah. for instance, like, I always love following JLo's moves because she just got killer moves, right? Yeah, so when yeah. her songs come on, I usually try to see it in my screen, watch it, watch it on the screen while I follow her steps. So mm -hmm. it just becomes a little more fun, you know, because you're yeah, not because you know, she's a huge celebrity, but she's also so talented and so yeah, that aura, good. you know, the way yeah, she it's moves the whole and... like she comes in on the stage with like this persona and like you know it's she's just wow, she's out there, right? Correct, correct, so correct. I love that. Yeah, so I think this, yeah, having and... it on the screen is is important, even for him when he's playing like slower songs like um any song Arigi, his his favorite is arijit right me so, too oh really <laughs> so i love the reason just like jello all the volume moves right all the i'm songs. so sorry i'll just take another comment sorry to interrupt you sure. by iftika rahman um we are getting comments from the viewers so please yeah a club theme party is obviously not a sit down party you can forget the centerpieces and the larger tables and have high top tables around the room have food stations or a buffet and let your guests eat whenever and wherever they want they might be so busy dancing that they forget to eat absolutely he's perfect yes. i mean yes. this is the exact concept if you like especially for uh, these kind of club theme parties nobody is concerned about eating food properly or something they are more you know really? like they want to dance even if they want to eat a little bit of tidbits and that's it they are in a happy mood right right no i the a perfect example for um if the karaman's comment would be um i just had uh my birthday last month and mm -hmm. we had a big party we have like it was just dance and food and like my close friends and you know we had a really really nice party so there we just laid out the food at one corner and we had the entire space open for dance. So whenever people want to go and eat, they can do it whenever they want to, right? And that is important. And having high tables and cabaret tables actually helps because then yeah, sometimes right. girls get tired with their Hard big work. heels on and they can have a rest. Correct, absolutely. Now, <clears throat> before uh, we move on to the next segment, uh, I have a small round for you both. Uh, it's not a rapid fire round. I won't call it a rapid fire round. It's fast and furious round. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you two. <laughs> for both of you. For I have five questions for Tehseen and five questions for Fahmina. Ooh, so should I start with this? Uh, for this, but yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's, let's do, do it. this. Okay. So first, uh, no. Now you have to promise me, take vows that you are not going to help each other. You have to answer like very fairly. Yeah, no help. Okay, and no looking at each other because the first question I don't want Tehsin to look at Fahmina. Yeah, please. Huh? <laughs> okay. The first question: What color eyeshadow Fahmina is wearing now? Right now. Yeah, I can see her in the screen, and it's I don't know. No blue. clothes. <laughs> no. <laughs> blue. No, I love blue. No, I'm gonna hide your face. face. It's I not blue. It, okay, what exactly is? It's it actually is? a combination of five colors. Oh, five you know, guys colors. Only so know five to... colors: red, blue, yellow, white, and green. That's it. <laughs> so okay, anyway, I'm of violet and. Um, gold and black, and there's a little bit of green. There was no I way I was gonna guess that. Tehsin, no, Tehsin, I do give this point because it was impossible for you. <laughs> I give you this point. Thank you. Why okay, did you get the point? He didn't get it. Yeah, no, I got it. Oh, please, Farmina, I have to be a little lenient. Sure. At least five colors. How would you find out? He has to get inside. <laughs> Actually, dive you. into your eyes to find out those colors. Yeah. So now the next question. What is the first thing Fahmina does after waking up in the morning? He never sees me. He's in the office. Oh. I wake up at 11 o'clock in the morning. Oh, oh I'm, yeah. I'm a princess. She checks her phone. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, she checks her phone. Okay. Yes. The third question. One habit of Fahmina that annoys you the most? 
annoys me the most. I love everything about this woman. Oh, Good answer. So cute. Are you sure? Oh yeah. Or is it like that? I will Did tell you, you what annoys him. Well, huh? <laughs> I will tell you five, the ten things that annoys him. Okay, yeah. I'll ask you the same question. Okay. Now, what did Fahmina wear on uh, your first date? Um, the first time I saw her, she had jeans on and a um, yellow top. Okay. Yeah. Oh, is uh, is he right, Fahmina? Yeah, he's right. Perfect. Yeah. I think you almost know everything about each other. Okay. Is Fahmina controlling? Fahmina in your style, in that video style, baby. Please. She's, she's not. That's Baby why it's so eat. much fun because you, <laughs> well, I, I tell people I pretend. <laughs> Pamina can see you. Pamina oh. can see you. <laughs> I'm not controlling okay. at all. No. Oh, okay, this one great. will not. This, he's not a controllable person. He might be quiet and timid, but oh my God. He's not controllable. He does whatever his she, she little tries. heart des desires. She tries, but you know, bless I her try. soul, bless her heart. I try, she tries. but he's like, uh, uh not happening, baby, not happening. Okay, okay, that's nice. Okay, now I move on to Famina. Okay, what song describes your marriage the best? Oh, there's so many. Arjit, ki, uh, oh, you can't look at me. Uh, are yeah, the, no. Um. Very recent one, I will say, Kesariya. Kesariya. Even I started loving that song. After watching the movie, especially, yeah. I started loving the song. You know, because I can listen to a song for months, one single song. Yeah. Like every day. hundred yeah. times. Yeah. <laughs> Until it gets worn out. And then yeah. I'll hear it a year later, like, oh, hey. I'll tell you one story. I was, uh, I think, uh, in my college and I was preparing for my exam. Sometimes you get, you know, uh, really tired. So you need a break. So every time I took a, break, took a break, it was long back. So I used to close my book and suddenly, you know, like my people used to stare at me because I used to play that Bhul Bhulaiya song very loud, loudly. And every day this was my routine. Suddenly I used to get up from my uh, table and suddenly I used to play that uh, song very loudly. And I started, I used to start dancing. <laughs> yeah, and they used to be very shocked that what is wrong with this child? I mean, suddenly, now he was studying and suddenly she started dancing like that. I can listen no, to her. Let song. me just say, you're my, our kind of people. Yeah, I am. I'm fully mad. I'm fully mad completely. Like, no, see, that, I that case say... number song goes very well because the yeah. there, you know, there's that line, um, Kesariya tera ishq hai oh, wo, that line is so him. So, yeah. him. and you are, you are also such a beautiful singer. Let me tell you, she is. Full of talent, so I'm telling you. I mean, completely. It's a perfect couple. Anyways, we'll move on to the next question. Which is Tehseen's favorite dance number? Um, actually, he doesn't. He has a lot of them, but um, I think um, that Batsha song. Oh man, he can move. Which um, one? Oh, oh, uh, uh, Jug uh, no, um, the hair one. Um, I'm not helping you. Ah, ah, uh, the uh, the 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 he will dance a hundred times to that song. Such a catchy Great, thing. great, great. I love Bacha, by the way. I really love Oh, Bacha. me too. Yeah. So now the next question is, one of his posts in social networking sites says, Five ways for a man to be completely happy. Be with a woman who makes you laugh. Be with a woman who gives you all the time. Be with a woman who takes care of you. Be with a woman who loves you. Number five, finally make sure these four women don't know each other. What do you have to say about it? Huh? What do you have to say about it? Uh, that, that's just wrong. <laughs> Way, I do my job very well. You know, I have to live with this one, right? <laughs> After the show. <laughs> Watch out for our next TikTok. <laughs> oh, I will wait for it. So this was the fantastic, uh, you know, rapid fire round. You both were Thank fabulous, you. but Thank I'm you. sorry, I don't have any hamper. My hamper? No I hamper. Can't... 
can be too hamper but i can give you love lots of love and i hope you all the best seriously Thank so we'll you so move much. on to the next segment of the show that is a very a uh, you know it's a very serious segment people find me a strict teacher when i uh, talk about that segment so let's do one thing so viewers please take out your papers and pencils because we are going to talk about club theme decor look and feel so we'll play the video we'll uh, look at the video and the theme and look and feel of the, uh, the club theme and we'll talk about it How do you like the theme? I mean, the look of the theme. Very nice. Was, very nice. Yeah, it was casino uh, look, you know, giving a little bit of James Bond look because men love it. This was basically for the bachelor's night. It was not for the hen party, bachelor's night. You know, men love themselves, you know, to imagine themselves at uh, as uh, superheroes or protagonists of some thriller. Yeah, correct. So on the basis of that, this uh, look was fixed, you know, like, Club theme is a very general term. Uh, every party should have a different look. So one bachelor party should look different from the other. So this was one look that we thought of, you know, like uh, creating. A, and moreover, you might not have the party uh, in a club itself. You can have it in some other venue also. So when you have it in some other venue, you need to get that club concept into that venue right so that time you can create such elements you know what you see in clubs like the queue managers the red carpet you can even have some bouncers place in front of the entrance where people are entering then that ambience that you see in casino you can have the poker tables and everything so that people can enjoy chill and have a blast in the party so if i have to ask you this is my concept that i've created if i have to ask you you know, your theme or your look and feel, what you would have done to the theme, a bachelor party or a hen that's party. A, a, I, would I would definitely have a red carpet because red carpet always makes you feel important. 
right? Yeah. Like you're and you're you're in your tux for boys. You're in your tux or suit or ties and you know all of that. And when they walk in with the you know eye candy in their with their in their arm and they walk in, they want to feel like oh, you know, like a king walking in. Correct, so, correct. Uh, you know, red carpet always gives you that. And, you know, with the roped in, you know, aisle and with the with the black tie bouncers on each side, that's amazing. And then if you have photographers, there's like a yes, photograph, like a, wow. like, a pap, like a pap look, right? So like a pap feel, like, you know, people are following you. Um, you can have a corner where they can stand, take photos and, yeah. you know, pose and, you know, and then carry on. And then obviously the, the actual place mm -hmm. is, um, it has to be amazing, right? Like yeah. you just showed, it has that very positive, energetic vibe and you just walk in and you just want to party. Yeah, correct. Absolutely right. Fahmina and Tahseen, we have come almost to the end of the show, okay? Now, I will end the show, but before that, we are missing on um, to a very important topic, that's the bar. We'll see the video quickly, we'll come back, and we'll end it together. So let's have a watch, look at the video. this is something that works for a bachelor's night or any uh, you know club theme party without a bar the party is just incomplete I so think that was no when when djs are the heart of the party yeah. i think bartenders are the mood setters correct Definitely. correct now Tahseen and fahmina thank you so much for being a part of the show i really enjoyed a lot uh, you know like thank chatting you. with you and knowing you all both and we would say goodbye to the viewers together 
it's already time and uh, okay viewers we'll see you again uh, the next sunday with a new look to the club theme till then have a great week and bye from all of us would you like to say something and say bye well, yeah it was really nice being here you say, you say. <laughs> thank you for um, uh, you having us on our seriously i love it. because i talk too much right yeah. so. and i love watching her talk <laughs> her eyes lit up, her face lit up, and everything else. But thank you for having us. Uh, it was a great experience. And, it uh, was. You know, very uh, you good. Nice. And don't forget to job. follow us. Don't forget to follow us. Yeah, sure. Of course. Yes. Okay. Bye, everyone. See you next week, Sunday, same time.